What is art? Um. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> I grew up in a city where there's, uh, you know, almost 13 million people. So it's to be surrounded by a stimulus and like chaos. Yeah. But as soon as I, we moved to Canada, there's none of that. Yeah. And there's all these like space and like <laughs> there's fresh air, there's like trees. I was like, I was like this is crazy. Like when I got in, I was kind of lost. I'm like, am I supposed to take off my shoes or leave them on? So I was like, uh, really shocked. So I'm like, oh. And then I was kind of scared at first. I'm like, he's probably gonna yell at us for not taking off our shoes. The paintings on the floor also behave a similar way where they become sculpture and but at the same time they're painting so it's also occupying two identities um, so a lot of the works I guess behave similarly the way I have experienced uh, my integration in this culture as a fellow immigrant um, I think I empathized a lot with his work. Um, I could really see the feeling, and I could feel the feeling of being displaced, uh, even by the whole thing of just stepping on the paintings and looking at the different characters on his work. Patrick. Hi. Uh, when I first got here, it was kind of weird because there's all this writing on the wall, like from what I've seen outside. And then there's like paintings on the floor. So you're not really sure what's going on. And, uh, at first, it, I thought it was really cool. But like after you explained it, it's like, I thought all this, like all this writing was like something really special. But then I explained like, I kind of just made these up. And that, that just kind of killed it. Like this isn't cool anymore. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrick, but... This is something we've kind of changed in hundreds of thousands of years, so... When I was a kid, I went to this, this like, golf land. I was walking around and there was this, like, little blue like mascot character, like kind of like an animatronic thing. It's like head moved a little. And, um, and I went up to it and I was like, oh, this is funny. And then it started talking to me. And I thought, you know, what could I do to like have something where there could be a kind of conversation like that, a back and forth between two people, but you take away the face to face, you take away, you make it weird in some way and then see what happens. Communication is, I think a lot of people take it for granted. Um, people just say things without really listening maybe. And I think his exhibit is something that tackles into that kind of stuff. So um, it's very compelling. How can I take something as simple as just conversation and make it sort of psychedelic? You know, make it seem like a weird thing to do even though we do it all the time. What if there was someone who thought you could talk to plants and that you could somehow get communication back? Not just like, like, a, like a, oh, I get a good vibe because this, this plant's like healthy, <laughs> but like what if you started getting some messages back? It is very weird. Uh, the sound is like, it's this manly voice and it's like, it's like God talking to you, like, God, are you here? But God is not in the room. But then uh, you don't know who's talking, so it's pretty good. And then it's like the plants have a voice. It's giving the plants a voice. His approach on art is very different. It's very unconventional and very uh, interesting. And uh, what I like most about it is how he doesn't really conform to a certain uh, way of uh, creating his art. Okay, 
Art is an image and anyone can create it. Every artist has a message that he's trying to send, so yeah, art has a language. You just need to understand it. We are. <laughs> art for me um, is a way for people to express their ideas. I don't know, art is very complicated. I feel like art would be anything you want it to be. Art is an expression. I mean, art is what you make it. Yeah.